Welcome to Strange Ways Alt Rewind. I'm your host, Velvet Rebel. As always, the show is presented in conjunction with Slicing Up Eyeballs, your premier source for all the latest info on college, indie, and alternative rock and roll. In this week's episode, we have new music from Jenny Beth of Savages, a release date for the new Depeche Mode DVD, and the results of this week's poll asking you for the best songs from the Smith's landmark album, The Queen Is Dead. But first, it has been a cruel summer. Tara Jane O'Neill has announced a new project as TJO. Intended to be a mixtape for her late brother, the collection includes covers of Boy George, In Excess, Duran Duran, and Susie and the Banshees, amongst others. Our first taste of this delightful collection is a Banana Rama cover and a video full of little references to the dance steps of the original. Check it out. Want more? Well, Ziggy Stardust celebrated a birthday this weekend, so how about Cowboy Junkies covering five years? The song feels more prophetic than ever. If you love the band's gorgeous cover of Sweet Jane, get ready, because this one is equally as good. Pushing through the market square So many mothers sign Music just come over I think I saw you in an ice cream parlor Drinking milkshakes cold and long Smiling and waving and looking so fine Don't you race the way that you talk I kissed you, you're beautiful I want you to walk We've got five Spirits in the Forest was a well-received Depeche Mode documentary, but if you're like me, you wanted more of the actual concert. Great news, the DVD Blu-ray of Live Spirits will be bundled with Spirits in the Forest and released on June 26th. It will include concert footage filmed by Anton Corbin from the band's two shows in Berlin in 2018. It was an incredible tour. If you didn't get to see it live, this DVD would be the next best thing. In new music, Jenny Beth of Savages has released her solo debut to Love Is To Live and wow! Fetch the bolt cutters, this album is a monster. For fans of Savages, Beth has stepped outside the post-punk template and created a work of art that transcends boundaries. From the Peaky Blinders anthem, I'm the man, to the late night seduction of Flower, Beth challenges patriarchal notions of sex, religion, and gender. It's a tour de force of songwriting and performance. Producers Atticus Ross of Nine Inch Nails and Flood, who's worked with Depeche Mode, U2, so many more, lend their talents to the project, and the result is something special. Fans of PJ Harvey, this is definitely in your wheelhouse, so if you slept on Savages, time to jump in. Jenny Beth is our new heroine. Young boys forever, a kiss and a murder, we will sing together.
The Smiths, The Queen is Dead came out this week in 1986, and we put the songs to the test this week in a new Strange Ways poll. While Mar and Morrissey probably didn't celebrate the anniversary, we wanted to. And here are the top songs as voted by you. Coming in at the bottom of the list, a very distant last place I must mention, is Vicar Natutu. Apologies to the one person who voted it as their favorite. Coming in at number nine, Never Had No One Ever. That speaks to how good the album is if this is only number nine on the list. Personally, I think it would have fit nicely on Viva Hate actually as a solo track for Morrissey. Number eight is Frankly Mr. Shankly. Seven, Some Girls Are Bigger Than Others. Number six, Cemetery Gates. Number five, the title track, The Queen Is Dead. For me, the opening of this track defines the Smiths and I am surprised it's stuck in the middle of the pack. But again, every song here is timeless. Number four, Big Mouth Strikes Again. Number three, the boy with the thorn in his side. Number two, I know it's over. And number one, possibly the iconic anthem of the Smiths, if you will, there is a light that never goes out. Take me out tonight Where there's music and there's people who are young and alive In the double deck of us Crashes into us To die by your side Is such a heavenly way to die This week's under the radar artist is La Priest, a solo project from Sam Dust. The new album is titled Gene. It's a name he gave to the modular drum machine he built for recording the album. The album is an incredibly rich tapestry of quirky electronics and pastoral songwriting. I think it's best is just called Space Pop. I am completely addicted to the video for Beginning, which pays its respect to the Depeche Mode video, Enjoy the Silence. At least I think so. Check it out. Thanks again for tuning in to Alt Rewind. Be sure to check out strangewaysradio.com for links for more music news, videos, and music compilations, such as this week's one, Sculptured Hair from DJ Mikey. It's a modern synth pop compilation featuring artists like Empathy Test and Missing Persons. There's even a song titled, Believe It or Not, She Looks a Lot Like Martin Gore from 1984. Hey, that rhymes. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask. We'll see you next week.